Hi, so we're going to automate the scaling of the VMSS in Azure. So let's see how to do that. So we're back on the Azure portal and we need to go to our virtual machine skill set. And currently we can see the virtual machine skill set we have. So we we'll open that up. And if we go to instances, we can see that we have one virtual machine currently deployed and running. So what are the steps to take when we need to scale on the virtual machine skill set? So the first thing to see that we have Microsoft Insight active, that means we have subscriptions for that. So we need to go to subscription settings resource providers and Microsoft Insights to confirm whether the subscription is active because it would require that for our automation. So we we'll would go to the search bar and we'll search for subscription and we can see subscriptions. We'll click on that and we'll select our current subscription and we'll scroll down to where we have resource providers under settings. So click on resource providers and we will look for Microsoft Insights, which we have here. But if you don't see us on the list, you just come here and search for Insights and we can see it here. And we have here that it's registered currently. So if yours is not registered, you click on that and click here to register. So mine is registered, so that's fine. So that I'll go back to my virtual machines skill set. So I will search for that VMSS and click on that. So it means now we're ready to deploy, deploy auto scaling. So we'll go to scaling. And now we have our options manual scale and custom scale. So we were using manual scale initially and that's why we have one virtual machine available. So we'll click on auto scale and scroll down and now we have the name of the auto scale setting which we can leave and the resource group which is our resource group which is fine and now we have one default um, configuration which we need to set if we are to use it and we can also add a, another skill condition below and let's understand what we need to do so we need to first of all we we're going to scale based on a metric and we have to create two scaling rules. One is the scale out rule and the other is the scaling rule. So the scale out rule is when the virtual machine CPU goes above 70%. So it means that we need to add two more virtual machines. So what that means is that if our currently deployed single virtual machine takes so much load that it processing spikes up to 70% and above that's above 70% it means that we would need to add two more virtual machines automatically and we'll scale in rule that means we'll scale in when the virtual machine cpu goes below the 50 percentage and um, percentage or it's equal to 50 percentage so what that means is that we'll remove one virtual machine so that's what we're going to do. And let's go back to this. And we remember we're going to select our we're scaling based on a metric. And let's just set instant limit. So we'll have a minimum of one and a maximum, let's say three virtual machines for a maximum. So we're going to test with this and our default is one. So we'll come here to add a rule or here, click add a room and basically we are going to select the virtual machine host and the metric we are going to use is the percentage CPU remember we said when it's above 70 and below 50 so once we're done with that then we'll scroll down here and we can see the operator when the metric is greater than and here we have 70 which is what we want. We want a duration of two minutes. It gives us a warning, but it's fine. So what this means is that 
if after two minutes of the virtual machine that's the server running it notices that the processing has spiked above 70 percent and remains above 70 percent what it means is that it's going to call an action to take place and that's the action we'll have below so after two, if after two minutes then it's going to so what do we want we want to increase the count as a virtual machine by two like we said you said we're going to increase we'll add two more virtual machines so that's what this means so cool down in minutes we're going to call it to be two so what that means is that if after two minutes the virtual machine is above 70 percent and it sustains in that two minutes then the action is to create two more virtual machines to spread the load to the load balancer and it will go through this again after two minutes so it means that for two minutes it's going to be dormant you know but once that two minutes elapse then it will come back here again and it will start waiting for another two minutes to see whether the um, cpu still remains above 70 percent so we're going to add this and we've added that rule which is our scale out rule when this and we're giving the average percentage increase by two counts so let's add another rule and that's going to be our scaling rule and everything here is fine let's come down and this time we'll say when it is less than we can say when it's less than equal to but since we have here when it's less than 50 we'll say when it's less than and the metric is 50 we'll use so we'll say when it's less than 50 then the duration of two minutes still and if after two minutes is still um maintains less than 50 then we this time we're going to dis decrease the counts so we'll decrease the by one instant count so we're going to remove one virtual machine just as we have here and the cooldown period will be two minutes the same thing so if after two minutes then it would um, run again the entire process so this is fine our 50 is here less than is selected and we'll add that so now it creates our scaling rule so now we have our scale out and our scaling rule and we have instant limits minimum one and maximum three so this is fine and we want to save so click save and now it successfully created our auto scaling rule 